Welcome to On the Couch with Michael. This is not a podcast, this is not a TV show, or funny videos. The world is crazy, and with communication comes understanding. Hopefully with talking, we all can figure things out. So what are we talking about today? Gunna snitching, YMW Portland snitching, and Kodak Black doing the song with Takashi 6 9 Yeah, that shit crazy. Like, Gunna was an artist I liked. You know what I'm saying? He came up with Thug. Thug did some, like, flawed stuff back in the day, you know? Dude always wearing dresses. You know what I'm saying? Pink and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but it's no discredit to do. He's still a good artist. So even if he is some type of queer or something like that, that can't discredit his talent as a musician. Nor can it discredit his street cred. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's been put too many stores with dude. He got a record. You know what I'm saying? But this thing a gunner, man. Go to court, tell the people, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, YSL is a game. Like, a lot of people talking about some, oh no, that, that ain't snitching. He just said, like, what do you mean? Like, he, he just said it's, it's snitching. Nigga shouldn't have opened his mouth, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, I, I'm gonna say this before I go any further. I may cuss and I may say things related to the street life due to this topic. And if it, I, we wasn't talking about this topic, my tone would be different. But we talking about some street shit, so I'm gonna keep it on some street shit. But what he did was some whole ass shit. Everybody know it. This motherfucker even put it in a couple of his songs. They even got memes of this shit with this dude talking about some, he'll never snitch, you know what I'm saying? And then go rap. And right now he got the number one song on Spotify and everybody like praising him. Like, how you gonna praise a rat? I mean, uh, if you throw a chain and a crown on a rat, it's still a rat, you know what I'm saying? Still got the tail. Still a rat at the end of the day. And the crazy shit is, motherfuckers don't know when the, like, you can't be street, hood, or whatever the fuck, and, 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 and see a rat, and know somebody a rat, and you not whack this motherfucker, or, or just cut him off. It's no, it's by no means, you can you listen to a rat, or none of that, you know what I'm saying, like, None of that. And then come to find out the whole wide cell. They didn't rat it on thug. The poor boy didn't put everybody in the hood on, now they didn't rat it on dude. It's crazy. And it's funny cause like man, like when motherfuckers be like, oh, niggas is pussy and shit, like they pussy on a whole nother level. To the point they so pussy that they cross dress, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas wanna look like me. Tap they face up, do all this shit, but they cross dressing, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, puss ass niggas, they wanna put on dresses and stuff. So nobody see them, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they go out and do their balls and shit. And that's what the fuck niggas is doing now. But they balling and shit, that's, that's, that's them stepping out. They wanna dress like a gangster. And they fantasize of being about being hood, but they not hood. They just cross dress, cosplay. That's what the fuck that is. You know what I'm saying? Put sad in it, man. And then you got Portland. You know what I'm saying? Like, irregardless of the charges, irregardless of the penalties, man, it's created to the grave. Death, death for dishonor. Like, come on, you, you can't, like, look. I mean, I don't know about y'all, man. Like, cause a lot of these motherfuckers, a lot of these people who listen to these songs ain't never been in no prison or no shit like that. 
But I don't give a fuck how hard your song is, how fly you is, how much money you got. At the end of the day, man, you go to the pen, bro. Motherfucker gonna be like, dude, you a snitch, you gotta go. And when they mean you gotta go, it ain't like, oh, you, you gotta leave prison. Like, motherfucker, you gotta go off this earth. Goddamn. And that's how serious it, it, it really is when it comes to this street shit. And it's crazy, man. But everybody wanna be good, though. Right. Who else we got? What else? What, what else? Well, first of all, I wanna know what do you think this is gonna do to the rap game? Well, this is what I believe is gonna do to the rap game. It's like, you got one rap, one, two rap, three rap, four rap, five rap, six rap. Next thing you know, the whole rap game is populated with, with rats, you know? Shout out to the women of the rap game, you know what I'm saying? Y'all out there doing y'all thing, shaking y'all ass, putting these lyrics up out there. That's, you know what I'm saying, generating a lot of money in y'all pocket. And that's cool. Women bosses, that's cool. But the more rats we got in the rap game, then it's like, now rap is not even street anymore. It's not... It's, it's how can it be hood when everybody rap, you know what I'm saying? Or motherfuckers is just like maybe homosexual or some shit like that. Like how can it be like hood, you know what I'm saying? Like really. At that point it's just some like straight bullshit. It's diluted, watered down. So I honestly think if you a rapper, for real, for real, everybody should take the stance. Motherfuckers should stop doing auto tuning their songs, making these songs for these chicks, man, because, like, the rap game are already diluted. Why, why diluted anymore, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Next thing you know, like, motherfuckers looking at rappers like, we singers and shit. Snitching ass niggas and tell, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Like, that's why I don't even like doing this shit, because all this camera stuff, video stuff to me, man, that's some puss ass shit, man. Like, back when I was coming up, man, motherfucker wanted to stay off camera. I don't even want 12 to hear my voice, you know what I'm saying? I know it's a lot of women out here, you know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, I, I want to see you. I want to look at you. Man, that shit cool, but like, I don't want the motherfucker looking at me. That's just how I was grew up, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, due to the situation and the circumstance, I'm on what I'm on now. That's why I'm doing this, but this shit gotta stop, man. This old puss ass shit, man, this shit gotta stop, man. It's some whole ass shit, man. You got Kodak, man. I like this dude. This dude got some good music. How the fuck you do a song with Takashi 69 Like, where that come into play, like, what's up with that, like, like, motherfucker already know, like, you went to jail for the statutory rape, you got the video smacking up on your mama's butt, trying to tongue kiss your mama, and a whole bunch of other shit, you know what I'm saying, like, but, but now you gonna do a song with Takashi 69 like, my nigga, that's unforgivable, my nigga, like, really, though. Like, I don't know, man. And I get it. Motherfuckers got bills. Motherfuckers got kids and shit. Man, but at some point, man, like, that's the, this just me, though. At some point, that's when my street just kick in. It's like, no, I ain't doing this. I'd rather go hit a lick. No, I ain't doing this. No, I'd rather go kick a dough. Like, really, really fuck that. Like, that, that's just me. I don't know what the fuck y'all know, man. How do you feel about Kodak being hurt? And that shit crazy too. Damn. That shit stupid crazy. I really don't know what to say about that. Like a lot of people ain't really saying nothing about that. Like you got innocent dudes in jail right now. But this nigga get pardoned because he was writing letters to Trump and shit. And then this dude get out. He started making some products to help his campaign and shit. And man, I get it, you know what I'm saying, but this is me, this is where it, this is how it comes off to me. This is how I perceive 
it comes off as these motherfuckers are scared to go to jail. Or they scared to do their time, or they scared to fight. Nigga, what's up? I don't know, man. And then no means by am I trying to like glamorize like street life or going to jail or no shit like that. That's not what I'm doing, man. But it's enough fake shit in the world. Like, why you gotta have fake gangsters though? Man? It's enough violence in the world already. Why you need people out here faking like they gangsters to make more people scared? Like, hmm. You hear me though? You got old ladies out here, single moms out here with kids and shit, man. Like, they frightened for no reason. It's half y'all motherfuckers is faking. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the shit that really bothers me. Everybody looking the same. You don't know who's is who. You don't know who is who. You can't tell a serial killer from the, the puss ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, really though. This shit just gonna keep going, man, and going and going and going. You know what I'm saying? You got the, the, the homosexuals creeping into the rap game. Motherfuckers is coming out the closet. We already knew who, who who was in there, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers suspect already. But but that's cool. And I don't even care about that. Cause like that's that's to each his own, you know what I'm saying? I look at it like this, that's just another form of like racism. I'm not gonna judge no other human being. Like, whatever, who you fuck, behind closed doors, I don't give a damn. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna see it. I don't, I don't wanna watch you fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. So, that's just like racism. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need to come together and unify. That's how I look at life in the world. With that snake shit, the rap game, man, I ain't for that shit. Next thing you know, you're gonna turn around, everybody catching charges. Just to get a hit record and go tell them some shit, and now they out. Like Gunner, number one hit song. But he got a tail coming out of his ass. <laughs> oh, puss ass nigga. <laughs> oh, wet paper bag ass nigga. Really though. Because I bet he can't go to the block. He's somewhere in Cali, Calabasas, somewhere with the Kardashians. But, but this is the thing though. This is the thing though. And this is what niggas killed me. I don't give a damn. You out there in Calabasas with these motherfuckers. All these poo put ass motherfuckers. Really though. Best believe this. At the end of the day, when you with their ass. If you ain't no snitch, you better know in your mind. They snitches. So why the fuck you with them people? To me, that's how you know this motherfucker's a rat. Probably can't even go to his own hood. All these pussy ass niggas, man. They can't never leave that. They can't go to the hood. You know what I'm saying? Well, shout out to the, the dudes who can go to the hood. Can still pull up on their block even though they work for a million dollars. A lot of people say that is dumb. But like, man, if you got security with you and all that, man, that ain't dumb. You got blicks, guns, sticks with you, you straight. Fuck you mean? Bobby Smurda just got out. He ain't tell. He go to his hood all the time. I seen the videos. People want to laugh at him because he's dancing. This nigga didn't snitch though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, above all that, not to entertain these niggas, this puss ass rap game. I'm gonna be doing this stuff every week, different topics. Some of them gonna be street, some of them, some of them gonna be business sophisticated topics, man. I'm gonna put this stuff out here. You know what time I'm on Rondo content. The book out, that shit selling. My clothes out. It ain't even out on Amazon yet, but it's out. And that shit selling. My music, generating strange. I don't even know how to do this stuff, but I do it. Cause when I when I was in the pen, I said I was gonna do this stuff. I'm a man. I stand on my word. I do everything I say I'm gonna do. Ain't no cap on my life. So I ain't no, no I ain't definitely ain't no cap on my rap. And I'm, 
it off with these fine cho choice words. It's enough fake in the world. You need some people, somebody, to be real. For real. <laughs>